Reform Radio, coming at you from Granada Studios, Manchester. We're only on our way to bloody Arvon. Boy, poetry, countryside, rain, awesome people. You can't really, uh, can't really get better than that. Everyone's in very good spirits. Yeah, everyone's here. My name's Jack, and um, I'm up front for the driver, just helping, you know, a bit of directions. <laughs> My name's Adam. Bloke right, talk. <laughs> yeah. I'm also very excited. I'm feeling um, fantastic. You know, just going to uh, let those words yeah, flow time. out of me when, uh, <laughs> when the pen hits the page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Scared, confused, excited, mixed feelings. Um, I trust you, Rio Fermia. Yeah. <laughs> lost. Lost, alone, afraid, confused. Like a survivor's lock. <laughs> just talking, just right. They're getting through the door, they're breaking in! Ah, <laughs> we have just arrived at Arbon. Doesn't look like there's much to do around here. It's alright, we've got pens, pens and paper, and we have our words. That's all we need. When I arrived at Lombank, I thought it looked like Narnia, like a little haven in the woods. When I first arrived at Lombank, I thought it was absolutely amazing. It's very idyllic and I'm surrounded by very beautiful scenery and people. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and it's exactly where I would want to be to do this type of thing. I didn't have a picture in my mind of what the place was going to be like, but even if I did, it was nowhere close to what it, to how good it actually is. Today is my first day at Lumbag, and I'm already absolutely loving it. All the staff are absolutely beautiful, and the food's amazing, the stars are shining bright. Worldwide monkey carnage, the downfall of society, and mankind is on the brink of self-destruction, and just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, the monkeys turn on us, and we're getting our ass. One of the things we did this morning was called Swag Bag, so... We've had uh, two bags full of words, we'd uh, take a handful of words out and then we'd form, uh, use the words to form sentences and uh, it would inspire. That's any way the first draft of anything is shit. <laughs> this afternoon we decided to go and explore the local area. The great thing about Lombank is it's not just about the writing, there's so many unexpected surprises. Every day a different group cooks and does the washing up and the other people have the day off to chill and be served like kings and queens. Dream riding. I am everything. I can smell everything, touch anything. It's an all or nothing dream. When I dream I fly. This city is mine, but it's not like when I'm awake. It's yeah, not I shared a thing for tea. I, I caught him in the library with his hand on top of me. You didn't tell me that. He used to call her Syria. Syria? You know, bigger tits than Jordan. Anyway, her understanding of the reasoning behind doing this sort of thing because we're giving this information, we're setting. Yeah, so this morning um, we discovered the importance of the wants and needs of characters. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. So many nights when I'm lying in my bed, got all these thoughts going round in my head. My name's Cesar and I was inspired by Keisha who actually came in to Avon and she's the one who inspired me to write poems. Having seen Louise and Keisha do the performances and after written a few of my own I'm kind of getting into the groove of it now. I'll probably end up writing a few more after I leave here. And I just wanted to say uh, thank you to everyone here at Lumbank, all the staff and all the performers. It's been great. It's once in a lifetime experience. Recommend it to anyone. 
making friends with so many people like because I'm kind of new to reform and I just got offered this really awesome opportunity and I was like I don't know anyone I expected that I'd be alone most of the time uh, but I've actually became quite close with people and built some connections uh, which is really awesome. We've been writing a story of issues since Tuesday and today we focus on the final scene. I've never thought about doing script writing before and Ishii's workshops have actually like like actually opened my mind to, to it now like I'm actually really getting into my story and I feel like I would do that like I'm, I'm gonna finish my story properly and write more stories so my time at Lumbank thus far has stretched my creativity so very far from the early morning walks making me believe I'm in Narnia to helping making tea for 14 people we made a bloody lovely veggie lasagna the four days I've been filled with laughter even fear and making friends I'm actually really bloody sad it's nearly an end I hope I hope you've all taken from this something beautiful that like when we listen to our guest speakers and shooters work with massively dilated, how fucking amazing are these humans' pupils? So I'll end my poem and my chat with a thought I'm going to take away. We are the writers, the creators, and you know what? We're going to have our fucking say. I was particularly surprised about the sense of community here um, and my ability to make new friends and relations. It's really opened my mind, so I feel like I've actually found the key. And I've actually just like unlocked my brain. I think what I've got most out of Arvon is just an amazing sense of community. I am the resilient giant. I am the catcher of light. I am forever defiant. I am the symbol of might. I bend with the breeze. I am the air I breathe. Brought to a pace. I am the beauty that brings me to my knees. I am our natural face. I've been trying to write a song for two and a half years, but yesterday I finally completed my first song. So I'd like to say thank you very much to Avon and everyone who invited me in. I liked um, collaborating with other creatives and other writers um, in many different forms. Uh, for example, on the first day we started off writing a song which then turned into a poem, which was amazing to see the evolution of the work and how certain creative minds can come together to create something new and fresh. I am green, I am plenty, I am desirable, I am something special, I am a spectacle, I am a vision in the day. It's been amazing and uh, we've already made plans to try and come back again. And uh, so, yeah, I'm very grateful and thank you very much for having me. This week I've really appreciated the space that it's given me uh, to think and to like, get in touch with my own creative processes because I wouldn't really consider myself a writer. Yeah, I'd just like to say thank you for the opportunity, uh, for the amazing food, beautiful scenery and great people. I've had a great time. Um, basically, the reason why I've had such a great time is because there's two different styles of writers. So, I mean, Louise is ace anyway, um, but she, she, because she deals with a lot of poetry, it's good to have Ishi there. I find a lot of in inspiration off Ishi, as well as Louise, so it's good to bounce off the different styles of writing. And there is ghosts here. <laughs> <laughs> All night. <laughs> there are ghosts everywhere. So if you come to Arvin, Thank you, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>